This video was sponsored by Enhance, Elbil Mac, a bit of planner, Camp Power, and Bill Componente. Yo, what's up? The Polestar 3 is back. Yeah, last time it was a long range dual motor. This time it's the long range performance. So it has slightly more horsepower. It does zero to 100 in 0.3 seconds faster. So this is 4.7 seconds versus five seconds in the dual motor. So I'm going to be doing a range test again today and measure how thirsty this beast from the east is. This time I will do, well, at least a, a longer stretch. Uh, we are now at Minnesun or long set, but okay. So I think actually we have more or less the same tires as the other. I don't remember exactly the rim, but uh, we have the big fat Polestar Brembo brakes. And the front here is 265 40 22 Pirelli P0. And the back, this is staggered. Back is fatter. It's 295 35 22. Okay, thirsty run coming up in three, two, one. Okay, and then actually looks similar as the other we tested. Except for that here we have the Swedish goal huh? seat belt. Other than that though, it feels and drives quite similar. So to show you that, okay, if we go here, home, Google map, wonderful, quite snap and you can see lots of information. If you zoom in further, you see the chargers also. You can also see the charger speed here, 300 kilowatt hour per hour. And then, okay, so I'm gonna do a little loop. I can't, unfortunately I don't have enough time to go the full loop in the 90 test, but okay. At least I'll go to Tongan, right? This is over here, let's do this. Uh, yeah, okay. Wait, how, uh, what was the distance again? 18 minutes, huh? Okay, that's strange. Okay, it tells me how many percent I will arrive with, and then if I come back here, how many percent I have, and how long it takes, but where's the distance? Okay, we have to start first, then we see the distance there, 26, so it's going to be around 50 kilometer loop. All right, let me see. And then we need to restart some stuff, I reset some stuff, but if you go to, no, no, not car status, settings, we will show you in drive, we have range mode enabled. And then the, the rest is fine, right? And then we have to go here and I have it here, range and trip. So I'll probably reset, I can just reset, reset both of them now, just to be sure. And then the trip here. Okay, this is auto reset. Okay, whatever, let's go. Now let's check the weight first. Front axle. Uh, what is that? 1340, oh, okay. The whole car. Oh. 2007, oh. exactly the same as the dual motor. Okay. Oh, we're on the move. Oh, there are a few campers here. Um, it's two in the afternoon now, so traffic is increasing. So, uh, well, let's hope they have some lane discipline. Okay, at least this Toyota has it. The Tesla, on the other hand, oh man, the Tesla drivers, they are one of the worst drivers on the road. No lane discipline, no blinkers, no... Okay, whatever. Um, once I get past the Tesla, I might have to uh, compensate by going slightly faster, but we're doing the 120 test right now. A nice weather today, 20 degrees Celsius. Yeah, sunny, mostly sunny. And consumption so far is uh, 352 watt hour per kilometer. Yeah, that is within specification for a Volvo Polestar. As for wind, I'm um, not sure where the direction is. Yeah, I think we're supposed to have headwind right now, wind for the north. So uh, I'm not sure how strong it is because uh, I couldn't drive past the windsock. The starting point was after the windsock. But it seems to be not too strong. Now well, we just turn around, now we're heading back. And then I cruise one kilometer per hour faster now on the return uh, because uh, over here there is some uh, road works actually shows on the map very nice and we have reduced speed limit there around well, 50 kilometers per hour so I need to compensate far enough a little bit before and after so uh, we get okay uh, test here yeah, here is the Baustelle so it's not that long but uh, I mean long enough to make an impact on this. 50 kilometer loop. Okay, let's see. 
no, 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 don't, don't hug the left lane, okay. All right, the consumption was 276 watt hour per kilometer. This is higher than the previous run, but I saw that the tires were not that big. It was only 21 inch. So um, yeah, let's try the 90 test then. All right, now we cruise at 93 on the speed though, and that is 90 GPS speed. 22 degrees Celsius, okay. Uh, temperature varies slightly, yeah, 21 is it. So nice and warm, yeah. I'm gonna go to the same uh, route, maybe we should have it here, uh, Tang and this, yeah. So the same, same loop, we don't have time to go for the full loop all the way to uh, Rutsakdam, but this should be good enough, it's 52 kilometer, yeah, according to Google it's 52 and then also this car seems to report correct distance, also 52. Wow, look at Mirosa now, there's n almost no wind here, this is good for low consumption. So right now it's only 208 watt hour per kilometer. Ooh, that's not too bad for a big thirsty beast. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna enjoy the nice uh, Bowers and Wilkins sound system. It is wonderful. Oh yeah. Okay, this time it was 203 watt hour per kilometer. So that is higher than the long range we tested uh, a couple of weeks ago. Well, we're back home. So based on the test today, well, we have bigger tires and then the consumption is higher despite that actually the weather was nicer, less wind and also higher temperature. Well, different tire. I think that's the main, uh, the, the key point here because um, uh, we have higher consumption. Well, actually, I'm not sure if these motors are exactly the same as the, the dual motor because it's just a slight difference in power it's not 100 horsepower more you know so well okay but based on this the performance is less efficient and has less range uh, well as expected right but i wonder if we actually put the other tire on this car will it then get the same consumption hmm? okay but anyway at least i tested it now so we have big battery and actually okay range, yeah. Uh, it wasn't as thirsty as I thought it would be, but I mean, it's still kind of high, yeah. Uh -huh. Anyway, I think that's gonna be it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.